Hey, so this is Be Werewolf. It's a game that was made for TO Jam 2014. That's the, the Toronto Game Jam. And the theme was After You. So we wanted to make a game where it was uh, a werewolf versus villagers when it's nighttime, and then at daytime it's villagers versus the human form of the werewolf uh, in a kind of little mob. So it's a very asymmetrical multiplayer game where both sides are are completely different really. So as the wolf I can go and attack the villagers and take them all out pretty quickly. Um, and then in the daytime as the villagers I can form a mob and chase after the werewolf. Um, who is not running away right now because I'm playing all, <laughs> trying to play with multiple controls at once. So the other interesting thing is that the, the villagers can go through fences and the wolf can't. So, uh, so that's one kind of advantage the villagers have. The other thing the villagers can do is if you hold any button on the controller, they'll spread out in a big um, big group. And so what that means is that it's a lot harder for the wolf to attack them when they're all spread out like that. Because now the wolf can't hit them all in one hit. So you can kind of use the, uh, the spreading out ability to, to basically keep yourself from getting killed instantly in like one wolf swipe. And uh, so it actually supports up to eight players. I've got four controllers plugged in here. Again, if you have real people playing, it's a lot better, or four real people playing, it's a lot better than just having one person trying to play all sides at once. But if uh, uh, you can have teams like this, so you have two villagers here and two werewolves. Uh, you can also set it up. It'll kind of balance things out automatically so that if I have this huge group, uh, if I have three werewolves, I'll get this huge group of, of villagers to kind of compensate for the, the odds. Um, and then it works the other way around too, so if I have one werewolf and three sets of villagers, uh, I'll get um, just a lot fewer villagers per team basically. So the, the numbers are kind of designed so they always balance out a little bit. Um, and yeah, it's, it's actually pretty fun to play. It seems pretty balanced from what we can tell, considering we didn't really get any time to, to actually balance it out. Um, and. Uh, and yeah, it was made um, just in a single weekend by uh, Dan Cox, who did the art. Um, Whitaker Trebella did the, the awesome chiptune music. And then uh, myself, Matt Ricks, I did the, the programming of it. Um, and so I'll put a download link in the description of this video. And, uh, and yeah, check it out. Uh, make sure you play it with a bunch of, of players, because I think it'll be pretty fun. And let us know what you think. We, we had a lot of fun making it, so hopefully you'll have... Uh, Hopefully you'll have some fun playing it too. So thanks for watching.